when you were gone or recorded. Okay, so if we're going to start backwards and work with what looks easiest, I would agree that number three looks pretty easy because it's just a table and we need to figure out between y and x if things are proportional. And remember when we're doing these, we divide y by x. And we come up with a number and we see if we get the same number for every single one. When I look at 2 and I divide it by 4, I'm getting a fraction or a decimal. How many of you did this on your calculator? When I do 2 divided by 4, I got 0.5. Okay, well that makes sense because 2 is half of 4, right? And then I look and I'm like, wait a second, 3.5 divided by 7? 3.5 is half of 7, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, let's just use our calculator and check y divided by x. So 3.5 divided by 7. I got 0.5 again. And now I'm feeling pretty comfortable. This is probably going to be proportional, right? Yep. What do I have down here? Four, four divided by what? Eight. Is four half of eight? Yes. And then four divided by eight gives me 0.5 again. So my answer is uh, yes. yes. And what's my constant of proportionality? Point five. It's 0.5. Or you could have written one half because they're equal to each other, right? That means if we're doing slope, it would be one up and to over, over, up and over, up and over, remember? Okay, when I asked you guys what you thought was the easiest, some people said two and some people said three. When I look at two and I'm like, okay, I know they want me to set this up with a proportion, but it just says write an equation. If I have a fundraiser, somebody's pledged a dollar for each mile walked, that's easy to figure out, isn't it? Because how many miles did he end up walking? So how much does she owe? $20. And what'd you guys do? Uh, $1 times 20 equals? $20. $20. Okay. For those of you who are practicing writing proportions, because that's really what we're trying to do with these do nows, let me just zoom in a little bit and write down what it would be. Remember, with a proportion, you have to have two things being compared. And what's being compared is money and miles. So my word would be money and miles. And this would be $1 for one mile. And he walked 20 miles. That's my proportion. But still, what am I going to do? I'm going to end up multiplying 1 times 20, right? And if I cross multiply this, I get 20. If I divide by 1, I still get 20. When you look at this, it's actually a pretty easy problem, isn't it? Yeah. But what is the constant of proportionality? It is 1. It says it in the very first sentence, doesn't it? One dollar for each mile. each mile. And as soon as we have an each, as soon as we have something over 1, even in this case it's one dollar over one mile, that's our constant of proportionality. So it's one dollar per mile. Now let's try this challenging one. Why they start you off with a multi-step problem when the next one is just 1 times 20, I don't know. <laughs> this would have been a better warm-up, right, to get your brain going on math? Yeah. So, and I want you guys to think about that. When you come in, and I have the do now up here, if there's two or three things, you don't have to start with number one. If you look at it and you're like, uh, that's a lot, I don't want to do that yet, set it aside, try something easier, and come back. Okay, you can always do these in whatever order you want. So, here's our first problem that we've waited till the end to do. At dinner, Jeremy and his friend spent $24. Is that each part or total? Total. 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 So, I know here I'm dealing with a total. They left a 20% tip. So, the top of this is going to have to be the tip. Right? What we know is we know the 20%. Because we know how to write a fraction for 20%, which is going to be 20 over what? Mm -hmm. Our unknown in this case is actually the first dollar amount they gave us. We know what their total was, but we don't know how much money they left for a tip. So our unknown is the actual dollar of the tip, but our known in the second fraction is the total of their bill, which was? 24 Okay, and as you guys know, when you go to a restaurant, 
what you pay for your food is not what you pay total because they've added a tip onto it if you go to a place where there's a server, right? So I'm going to cross multiply. You all have a calculator. Do it with me. What's 20 times 24? I got 480. What are we going to divide 480 by? 480. I got 4.8. So over here, I'm going to write up, this is their bill, $24 plus their tip. And I get $28.80. Am I finished? This is why this is like, oh my gosh, this is not a warm-up. This is a good in-depth problem because there's a lot of steps. We're not done. What do we have to do with that 2880? Divide it by two. Because what is the last sentence? Or the here they said they left a 20% tip and then split the cost. How much did each person pay? Well, what's half of 2880? 14 what? 14.40 is how much each person paid. So again, when you look at that, now that we broke it all down, none of it was hard. It just had lots of parts to it, right? So I just want to remind you, when I put these problems up, you don't have to start with one. And if you're stuck at it, just sit there. Look at the others. Is there something else you can start with that's going to get your, basically a do now is to warm up your brain for math, right? Just like warm up exercises in PE, you're getting you ready for the bigger stuff. 